Hello, I'm gonna tell you five different types of games that you can make when you're starting out as a game dev. I'm here to tell you that you're not gonna make an MMO for your first game. I'm sorry. <laughs> When you're an absolute noob in the game dev department, you want to familiarize yourself with basic mechanics and also the basics of coding and possibly using your chosen game engine. And before you can build your dream game, you need a solid foundation and these types of games are great for that. The first type of game would be a maze game. Classic examples of this would be Pac-Man. These games typically involve you navigating through a maze, collecting items and also evading enemies and obstacles. In this example you would learn how to deal with colliders, with walls and also some basic enemy interactions and collectibles too. Although maze games sound quite simple you do have the opportunity to make it as intricate as you would like and you can really concentrate on making an engaging environment and also optimizing the player experience. The second type of game that you could make is a platform game. An obvious game that comes to mind would be Mario and it involves simple mechanics like moving left right and also you get to explore the jumping mechanic. Here you will really develop an understanding for character movement and how it affects the gameplay and you can really get creative with the level design of platform games. The third type of game would be an endless game, for example Temple Run or Flappy Bird and these games involve a continuous and repetitive gameplay while trying to achieve the highest score possible. Something you could learn from this would include a procedural level generation and you can also include a scoring and reward system. The challenge with these games is keeping the player occupied and engaged for long periods of time so you can really get creative with the level design and you would really need to balance the difficulty and optimize the scoring system. The fourth type of game would be shoot em up games. These games focus on the player shooting the enemies and also avoiding their attacks. The first thing that pops into mind is Space Invaders and this is a classic example of a shoot em up. Here you will be introduced to shooting mechanics and also even some player controlled projectiles. You could also get involved with designing wave based gameplay which increases in difficulty as the game goes on. It focuses on simple yet engaging mechanics and also requires you to think about the enemy behaviours and even possibly power up implementation and skill based gameplay. The final game that I would recommend to make is a simple puzzle game which usually involves solving challenges using critical thinking and strategy. Games that come to mind would be a simple tic-tac-toe or even any game with logic such as Bejeweled. This encourages a lot of strategic thinking and putting a lot of logic behind your level design as well as a lot of planning. So they're the five options that I would choose to make as your first game. As my first game I did make a platform game and I did talk about that in my last video if you want to go check that out. But other than that I'll see you next time.